about to put on a great show, get a win. I mean, I'm excited about it. Just ready to lock in. We've been talking about it for what, three, four months. Just excited to get this on with. Just ready to play ball. Get ready to play football. Al's down under, baby. From the H to the Australian city. <laughs> I feel they were prepared. We did a good job throughout the week, throughout training camp. Had a, had a great, great training camp, and we came in early, a week early, because of the early week. And uh, they did, the kids did a great job, especially retaining everything we did from the spring. So I'm excited. You know, and it's no matter who you play against, when you play them, or where you play them, it's a football game. And football is pure. So I'm excited for these guys. Once in a lifetime experience. Certainly, uh, you know, think and, and, and hope that the, the product we put out there is uh, as good as it's been around here in, in a long time. And, and I think we have the players to do that. I think we're going to do things that cater to the skill sets that we have, you know, with a veteran offensive line and some really good right, skill yeah, players. And obviously we got some youth at quarterback and, and some good, you know, quarterbacks that, that we're very excited about. But certainly they can rely on the experience of the offensive line and, and some of the skill players that got a lot of experience to, to help as they – you know, go through this marathon of a season. You got to feel good about the health of the team. I mean, because last year out of the gate, it's just like all of a sudden you have guy after guy after guy get hurt on defense. We're healthy, yeah, uh, which is a nice, nice feeling. You know, it's in 08 and 13 when we won those 10 win seasons, nobody got hurt. We're a different team. A lot of guys didn't play in it last year. Going to play in it this year. I'm excited about opening up with. Uh, with people like Stanford that's a premier football team, you know, and uh, we've got to go out there and be the best football team that we can be. They know they're 31 point underdogs. We don't have to drive that point too much, but uh, you know, you hope there's a chip on your shoulder every week. We're in a typical game week, uh, which we're here to play a football game first and foremost. So we've, we've tried to take as much of that shoulder time around our practice schedules to get as many cultural experiences as we can. And we've We've done the International Clinic, we've been to the University of Sydney a couple of times, we, we've been on the harbor. Uh, so I, I feel like our team has really taken advantage of the time, but it's been busy days for us uh, from, from all of the team activities, from practice and watching film and meeting with coaches to hopping on a bus and going to the University of Sydney. It's, it's kept our, our student athletes and our coaches very busy while we've been here. Our student athletes are really remarkable and, and they're particularly uh, remarkable when they have great coaches and coaches who transmit their values and nobody's really better at that than, than David Bailiff. And if they're going to come to Australia, they're, it's not just going to be even playing football and not just going to be learning about Australia and studying for their courses back at Rice, but it's also going to be about providing some service and getting out in the community. That's what they're about, it's what David Bailiff is about, and ultimately it must be what Rice is about.